everybody, welcome to the Ankeny Fanatic Coach of the Month video interview sponsored by Revive Clinic and Spa. We're visiting with Ankeny Girls Cross Country Coach uh, Eric Klingensmith at the Valley Tom Carpen Invitational today. Well, well, Coach, your team isn't running here today, your daughter is. Huh? Is that fun to watch her run? It is. I love watching her run at, at all the races we have. I always go out before the race starts, give her a big hug at the line, even if she's up against my uh, girls there especially. And it's just nice to be able to watch her run and go out and have some fun and, and do something that she loved to do. And, uh, I didn't think she was going to ever want to run. Uh, even as a young young age, when I was I used to make the girls uh, when I was coaching in, in Missouri push her in a stroller up the hills for a workout. And uh, every year when we talk about the hill workouts, uh, and I post something on on Facebook, those same girls email me or text me or whatever and just tell me how they remember her uh, run, pushing her up the hill whenever they were uh, uh, on my team. And uh, now she's out there doing the same things that they did and running cross country. So it's just it's awesome to see that circle that come full circle there. Was there more or less stress when you watch uh, your daughter run? I think there's more. Like I wanted to do so much better, <laughs> so I'm really more nervous than I am just watching the teams teams run. So I'm more more nervous just watching her and more more anxiety there with with uh, with that because I just wanted to do so well and be just you know be a great runner and, and just uh, work hard at it. Of course, sometimes she has to run against your Ankeny girls. Does that kind of put you in a weird spot? It does. Uh, I think the last race, well, the, the, the couple of races before, her and Anna Schmitz, always my, my runner Anna Schmitz on my team, and her uh, usually run close to each other. And so I'm yelling for both of them at the same time. And, and I'm, I'm lucky that their names sound similar. So they think I'm shouting for each other when, they're, when, I'm, when I'm shouting for, for both of them at the same time. So it's, it's nice. I still cheer on Savannah, and, and I cheer on my girls too. Talk about your team for a minute. Uh, your team's had two meets thus far, and in the first meet, they beat uh, Centennial for the first time uh, since the school split. You know, you'd be awfully proud of that performance. Oh, I was. They, they just put it all together that day, and everybody just ran in all cylinders and just ran a great race. Uh, it's it's just nice seeing the girls come together, and, and they've done that a couple of times, and, and we're hoping to do it again this week at uh, Cedar Falls. Well, your team has been le uh, led thus far by senior Lauren McMahon. She's kind of emerged from out of nowhere to become one of the state's uh, top runners. Have you ever seen somebody, you know, kind of come out of nowhere like that? I have not. Uh, usually they develop over the course of a few years, but she is just, a, just an all-around great competitor and athlete. And uh, she just got in contact with the team this summer uh, after uh, soccer was kind of put uh, on the back burner uh, because of COVID. She started running, and her dad's a triathlete, and, and uh, she never really liked running. And then as she got into it uh, over the course of the spring, she just started liking it more and more and more and more, and kind of fell in love with it, and uh, is doing really well uh, at it. And then over the course of the summer, we just saw her develop uh, through the, the app that I had out for them to, to get the workouts in. And then just when she showed up for our camp, we were able to have that. It was just awesome to see her go out and just perform like she did, and, and just see her do these races. She's nervous. She's a ball of nerves before every race, but we just I keep telling her to have the confidence and know that she can she can uh, she can work her way towards the front. Just have patience with it. She's done great so far. It's been awesome to see her just exceed at all these races so far. We mentioned uh, COVID. You know, have the girls been able to adapt to, to all the procedures you've had to put into place this year? Uh, they have. They, they've been able to the, wear the masks in the warm ups and the warm up run, and and they know when to take it off. They've been doing very well with the uh, the the whole new routine of everything. Uh, the one thing that they do miss out on is that most of the social activities that we were able to do before. That's the big fun part of cross country, and we're just not able to do as much as we have in the past uh, because of the the, the non-contact and wanting to keep six feet apart and social distancing. So that's just one of the downfalls to it, but still they're coming together and they're doing some great things, so it's nice to see. All right, this has been the Coach of the Month video interview sponsored by Revive Clinic and Spa. Coach, thanks for your time. Yep, thank you.